All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over a key hand that happened at the Mid-States Poker Tour over in East Chicago uh, last night between myself and a Mr. Greg K. Katulodakis? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, see his picture here in a second. Uh, this hand was covered uh, in the live stream uh, updates. So you'll, you'll see the details on the hand, but um, this is how kind of a perfect storm of how things happen sometimes in a poker game. So he, I had been at this table the whole day, um, been up and down chips, um, but doing, you know, overall been doing pretty well. And at this point in time, I've got about 150,000 in chips, uh, which puts me, I think, second at the, at, at the table. The, the average stack at this point was about 80 thousand probably a little under 80,000 chip stack so I'm well above average big stack and um, Greg had come come into the table maybe two orbits prior at most so not a whole lot of hands I've never played against him at least not that I can remember so I know nothing about him what I do know <laughs> is that he came in at the same time that another gentleman came in and they sat right next to each other and apparently they, they had been playing together before and they came in let's just say in a heated method or uh, the, the other guy didn't care for Greg uh, and, and, and that quickly became very evident um, as to <laughs> within the first couple of minutes for a second it looked like they might get into blows at the table uh, and the whole table really got tense uh, with their with their exchanges between the two of them, um, there was definitely some animosity there. So that kind of um, I, I fast forward affected my decision making process. Um, just from their exchange, I'm thinking that this guy is is pretty aggressive, uh, capable player of making moves. Um, so let's move to the hand. I've got pocket tens. Uh, ten, um, 10 of hearts, 10 of spades, uh, mid to late position, everyone's folded to me, blinds are 1500, uh, small blind 2500, big blind with a 2500, uh, big blind ante, I make a small opening bet to 6500, uh, I believe he's on the button, he calls, blinds fold, uh, so it's heads up, flap comes, queen of hearts, 6 of spades, 2 of spades, so, could he have a queen? Sure. But again, given uh, what I'm thinking of his play style so far and his capabilities, you know, he, he could be coming in with air or nothing or ace high or, you know, not necessary that he hit the queen. So I think there's still a decent chance that my 10s are ahead. So I bet for 10K and uh, he calls. Turn comes Queen of Spades. So now we've got three spades on the board. I've got the Ten of Spades in my hand. I don't think he's got. I don't think he was uh, on a flush draw. Because I think he would have played that differently. So I lead out for 15k, and he pretty quickly raises to 45k. So again. I think he's capable of bluffing. And oh, here, here, here's here's the other part of the, about the situation. So he's seated directly across from me. So we're looking at each, we're we're right in each other's eyesight. And prior to this, or it's been a while since I've had a player directly in my line of view where we've gotten into a battle. And um, when the when the flop came, I glanced up at him. <laughs> I felt like Jeffrey Dahmer was looking at me. <laughs> it was the Dahmer eyes. I thought he, you know, the serial killer look. And um, I, I, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't focused, and, and and I fluttered and looked down. Very very weak. If I'm on the other side, I look very weak at that point. So I'm taking that into account. When the turn came. I looked up again and still had the Jeffrey Dahmer staring at me look. It's like, and again, faltered. 
So now, I've looked weak twice. I know he's aggressive. So, he could definitely be coming in with nothing, com complete air, based on that. So when he raised to 45k, I thought there was a very good chance that he was doing that based on he didn't think I had much and that he could just bluff me out of the pot. So given that I still held the 10 of spades, so I had a flush draw, another spade would make me a, full, um, a flush, and I thought there was a decent chance that the 10s were still good because now we got two queens on the board. It makes it less likely that he's got a queen. So I shoved for the remaining 117,000 that I had at that point. And he took maybe a minute thinking. Uh, he definitely was not happy that I over shoved on him for the rest of my chips. Because um, that, that was, he didn't have much more behind at that point. Um, it was definitely for most of his chips. But he ended up making the call, um, showing the king of diamonds, queen of club. So he, he did make a set, or a, a trips. Uh, pretty pretty strong hand. Um, the only hand, well, he was losing to, to a made flush, uh, where if I had, by some miracle, pocket sixes or pocket deuces. Um, so he made the call. The river, unfortunately, was a two of hearts, so it made him a full boat. Um, and out the out the door I went, but it was interesting because all these variables came in. You know, the my perception of him, my <laughs> my weak the the look of weakness that I know I exhibited on the flop and the turn. Once I put in my all in bet, I was fine. You know, it, the whatever Jeffrey Dahmer look he was giving me no longer affected me. But I had not been ready to have someone directly across from me, you know, just staring at me with the rather creepy ass look. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. A variety of things could have happened if, if I had had a stronger image that I had, that I had given out. Um, I think I might have played the hand differently, but I've realized that I look like a like a complete wimp on the pre-flop and the flop, and and to an extent on the turn. Um, so yeah, interesting hand. And I've seen the name before, Craig Greg K. Again, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um, I, 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 so I'll, I'll look him up in a bit. I'm sure he's got uh, way more winnings. Uh, than I have on uh, on the Hendon Mob uh, poker reports for uh, tournament results, but uh, overall, I was pretty pleased how I played all day. Um, just that last hand uh, didn't 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 quite work out, um, but but I think I've I think I've reached another level, so I'm coming after all y'all. All y'all, all you dames, all you contenders, all you, <laughs> uh, all you favorites. Because to add insult to injury, <laughs> we'll add, we'll see the little snippet here uh, of the report the that the Mid States Poker Tour and the live stream had. I'm the unknown player in late position. Don't even have a name. Just a scrub. But coming for you punks, better look out. Peace.